Hi, Greg, Campers Life, DIY RVing Home, back with you with another episode of that kooky DIY guy, Greg, doing some, well, installs of something. You want to know what we're doing today? Well, last episode, we got rid of the cover for the stove. We never liked that. So, this episode, we've got us a magnetic knife block that we want to right there we got two of them we got one that's going to go right there and one that's going to go right over here it comes with some screws now this one does but the anchors are not those kind of anchors that are good for paneling they're let's find them let's find them oh, there they are. don't cut yourself they're fine right here they're those pressing ones that are I don't like at all. They don't even work in paneling. So we got to use the Hiltman pop toggles again. So we're going to be using those instead of these. So our instructions are going to be a little different than your instructions if you use these in your house. But if you use it in a trailer like ours, then you might want to consider using the Hiltman pop toggles like we are and there is a link to them well so no link uh places that i link to they're really expensive there's some of those box stores you can get them a lot cheaper so i'll give you the part number uh for it and you just go over there and get some uh, i always have them on hand look i've got those i've got these I've got another bag i think i even have another bag or two so when i'm done with this project i'm gonna go get some more am i rambling yeah i know Let's get this thing done. So, also in the instructions, which are somewhere, they say that you put it... Oh, here, let me grab this. They even give you a template. So you take this template, you put up here, and you put a level on it, make sure it's level, and then it's got spots where you drill your holes and put your screws and all that stuff. Problem is, we're in a trailer. Are we perfectly level? I mean, because I like stuff level. I, I like stuff looking level. So, what I'm going to do is I got my handy dandy square. I'm going to take it, put it up here. And I've already figured out that I want to be at three and a half inches. That's the center of this nice little border that we have here. And that's where the holes are going to be because that'll make the center of the magnetic block. So, three and a half inches, three and a half inches. And then visually, Visually, it'll be level. It might not be perfectly level, but visually, from a distance, it'll look level. That's that mind trick, you know? Ooh, the illusions. So, what I'm gonna do is, I got me some tape to tape these in places, but I'm gonna take my little pencil, I'm gonna mark three and a half inches, come back, get that uh, leveled, bring you back, I'll show you some more. Now, let me bring you up to where I'm at right now on the project. That is, I've got the template stuck to the wall. And as you notice, here is the template that comes. I've cut the edges off. I took my hand down to straight, tangy, and ran right through the center of the mountain holes. And then you can see this little line back here. I also took this and stuck it back there and went on my measurement and on my measurement and using this thing, you know, this lead contraption, made a little line, lined up, lined up, and I made sure that this thingy right here, which is the end cap for this, is going to fit right there, like that. You can see. Now, what I can do is get me a Tingamajabi and make a holy right there. Then I can stick a, one of these in, screw that on, make a holy over here, bang, shove one in again, put the screw down, tighten it up enough to where it's going to be a little bit of resistance to on. Then this goes on, and then this goes on. I'll show you when I get there, but just to bring you up to where I'm at, I can't put this template down yet 
until I get this mounted because I'm going side by side and yeah I know it could be problems if you try to jump ahead of the game I would never jump ahead of the game myself learn from the past so let me get some holes uh, drilled and uh, pushy pushies I'll bring you back Can we do this one-handed? Here is that pop toggle. Squeeze the wings together. Chug into the hole. Grab the yellow pin tool. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Well, you gotta put a screw in it now. But Okay, there's one. Do it again. One more time. Oh, you can do it. Really, you can. One more time. Come back in. Hit the little button. Ah, you, there it is. Okay, now it's time to take this and screw it right there. And then we will take another screw, screw it in here, get it to where it's a good snug fit when I push this in place so let's see if I can just set you up there you can see what I'm doing because I got right here and right here so let's try this I'm gonna take and put my screwy tang back in Come on, Drew. Grabs one of my screws. Put that in place. Almost lost my screwy thingy. Okay, there's one side of it. Get another screw. I'm gonna come in and like that. Find the other end of my blocky. This piece right here just kind of like slides out. And I want to make sure that it and tight so we're gonna act like this drill has no battery and we're gonna go like that uh, a little bit more okay how about a little bit less a little bit less okay now if we did it all right we can slide this in like that. Let me take this and we go like that. See? Perfect. Fit every time, right? Okay. I know. I'm probably in your way. You can't see what you're doing. Oh, there we are. There we are. And push it on. There it is. Something like that. One more time, right here. I'll get that one done. I'll bring you back. And maybe I'll show you after it's cleaned up. So, get the second one done. It's basically the same thing. I'm gonna set it right up here, figure out where this, this piece is gonna be right here. Then I'll drill a hole, mount it, get the other one, do the same thing, and we will call it good. 
Cha-cha. Well, guess what? I didn't clean up the mess yet. See, it's messy, messy, messy. But you know what? Check this out. It's done. Yeah, that's right. We've got two sets of knife blocks, magnetic, up on the wall. That way we can move stuff around. Yes, we're going to have to reach around sometimes when we're cooking, but guess what? We have places over here we can put stuff too. So, anyways, I might take and, uh, oops, might take and add just a little bit of a, a silly putty or something like that, silicone, um, to it. Just because there is a slight bit of rock. Not much I could do with the anchors. You know, this one, actually I might be able to tighten it up. I don't know. I know it's going to stay there. Looks pretty good. Honey, what do you think? Look good? Beauty mess. It's a mess though, right? Who's going to clean it up? You. Damn it. You made the mess. Somebody made a bleep on the video. Hey, yes, I did. I'm going to clean it up. Anyways. Again, this is a goofy episode from Greg at DIY RV and Home and Camper's Life. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, and leave some comments below. Oh, I said that, huh? Yeah, I did. No, okay. So until the next cookie con... So until the next crazy, weird episode from Greg over at DIY RV and Home and Camper's Life, happy camping!